All right, so in the previous video, we saw how to you know build a basic tree using L systems. So now let's build the actual tree that we need. Okay, so this is the scene and what I could figure out from here was that essentially we had like what I ended up doing was I have this tree which has two branches and then this sort of bifurcates and you know it has this and then this has like you know a similar structure so what I want initially is I want this one branch here one branch there and then these two guys should further on generate like this main structure shouldn't grow okay and then these smaller guys should then just sort of break up and give me you know more stuff on either side so what I did was Initial I started with an X and I just did like a F a bracket like plus F and then another F in the middle. So basically what we're doing here is that this is an F. This is the bracket plus F. This is another F and this is bracket minus F. And then nothing here like no, no X will continue because we don't want this to keep growing. But here what I want to do is I want this to be an A and this to be a B. So we have like two blank values here. This is A and this is B. And then we further on say, so this is X, X is equal to this. And then we say A is equal to, and I can, I want like three branches. So what I can do for three branches is each branch should spin a little. So I'll put in like a slash and I'll say like, say 60 degrees plus F. And then again a slash and I can say 120 degrees again a plus F and then finally I can do a slash let's say 240 degrees and a plus F okay and then each one this keeps should keep repeating so this keeps getting an A in the middle okay so roughly this is what I'm doing and then the same thing repeats for the B except that instead of a plus it will be a minus okay so this is a and then for b as i said the only difference will be this will be a minus fb the rest remains the same so just to sort of show that here is we're going to take an f oh, sorry we're going to take an l systems first let's get this to about five generations so we start with an x and i'll say uh, x is equal to as I said like this will be f bracket uh, plus f and then f bracket minus f so what you'll get is this except I want these to be a little bit longer so what I can do is I can put in like a 0 0.5 here okay. or sorry after after the f Pre before that is the degrees Okay, so we do like 0 0.5. See, so this line will be long. So your initial bra initial trunk is long. And then in here, I can just say this should be like a A and this will be a B. So what is happening right now is like this has no meaning. Like at one, it gives you this and then it just stops. And here also, I can just put in like a small bracket and say 0 0.3. And if you want to control the degrees of these independently, I can put in like a value here. So I can say, let's say this is like uh, 30 degrees. See, so you'll see like, if I start to modify this, you can control this specifically. So now uh, this value is only affecting one branch. And if I do it here as well, and I say uh, 25 degrees. So now this value has no meaning at all. Okay, because these two angles that we have are being controlled by specific values that I have typed. Okay. okay, so now we come to A. Just to show you like in a separate one altogether, if I take an L systems here, this is what we're going to do. Okay, except that this is like a little too much. But, uh, which isn't bad actually. Like you can see what is being done here. So it just sort of spins. Like every every single value just spins. Okay, like if I remove this, they don't spin at all. Okay. But just to do this in a slightly different way, like let's say if I do 
x and delete these and I can say uh, x is equal to and I'll do f uh, slash let's do 60 degrees bracket plus f and I can just copy this do control c control v control v we want three branches see so each one sort of spins 60 degrees but I want this to be a little bit more so I can take this a little higher and take this a little more see so I get this and at the end of these on the inside if I put an x so what you'll get is each one uh, one two three yeah see so this is what you'll get see each one sort of you know with each generation you get three branches like that and then if I put in like a double apostrophe and uh, not a semicolon semicolon is fine but yeah then I can like really scale it down so this is effectively what I want to do so what I can do here is instead of the X I can just put an A over here and then replace it so I can just come in here put an A yeah and this will also be A so I can just do like a control C let's come into this L system and then come in here and do control V so see what's happening is C this is growing and the same thing I can do control C come in here do control V but this will be B and this will be minus because it has to go to the other direction so minus and B see so you'll get this so what's going to happen now is as it increases see this keeps branching out like that and then I can control this okay maybe you should also yeah let's let's do this um, yeah let's put a capital T and we can do like a gravity as well so let's do T over here and then we can do like a gravity see so you can do this and let's also put in yeah so this is like the basic tree that I want okay like more than anything else this is the basic stuff and then what you can do is then what we had done previously which was using the the small t and doing the leaf stuff on top okay so if I come back to my actual code I'll just try and sort of we're going to copy paste this so it'll be easier so what you're seeing here is the same thing like I did like a double f so I can get like two two sticks and then this is the number of degrees for each one and then so it's the same thing so I'm doing like a little bit like a lot of f in here okay so this is f a and then this is like FB okay so it's the same code it just it's got more like I'm controlling each angle separately because I wanted like very specific you know like branching happening so I have like one F and then it's going five degrees and five degrees and then the last one is like 0 0.2 in size and then this is again I'm doing T and a little bit of randomization and then this is the amount of scaling Okay. and then you have fa and this is the rotation value so you have 80 degrees and 150 degrees and the same thing here okay so t and then you have rotation values and then at a generation of 9 it changes into you know uh, leaves so if i just copy paste this you should get you know the same result yeah so let me just come in here and i'm going to delete this okay. so see you got like both sides coming in and then uh, the J stuff so control C control V yeah and then if I just you know if I come back here and I plug in this guy and take this to 10 see there you go and uh, if I just replace this over here we should get something see yeah except uh, the reason why the scaling isn't happening is because we didn't generate the point attribute so make sure you turn on point attributes and there you go see now what I also did in the middle was I use like because this isn't the exact shape that I want I want it to be you know slightly modified so what I can do is I can take an edit in the middle 
and just sort of you know tweak it a bit so i can come in here and let me just scale this down a lot because the size doesn't really matter like of this thing the size doesn't matter okay and then what i can do is i can just take an edit i can press 2 like if you look at the shape of this you know so we just want to shape it up a bit okay so what i can do is i can just press 2 i can take this and just you know tweak it and adjust it so i can increase the soft radius and i'll say radius okay and just kind of you know move it around yeah turn off the lock selection and then just move it yeah and then i can take like the top stuff and increase this yeah just sort of you know like tweak it till you get the shape that you want there was a very good training like which is the one that i saw uh, this was from cmi vfx so i don't even know if cmi vfx is still active or not but there used to be a very nice l systems uh, cmi vfx training from like a french mathematician and he'd done like a fantastic job with it that's the one that i had learned from but i'm very sure there must be like other uh, trainings for l systems as well so you can probably just use those and see what you get so there you go so you have like a rough shape and then plug it in here so that way you can shape it up see so that, that way you know you can get like a better shape maybe increase the size of this a little bit so yeah so this is essentially it so this is the tree and i can just make it slightly thicker i can come to the l systems make it slightly thicker yeah there you go so we have our basic tree that we want okay so in uh, the next video we will make the basic landscape okay like this isn't complicated but we'll make the basic landscape in the next video